What's up guys, heading out to my uh, first job, only job for today, it's Saturday, and we're gonna do a tile job. Got my new uh, tile cleaning wand, I uh, went ahead and, and got some, uh, uh, what is it, a Raptor tile, tile cleaning wand? It's got the large and the small adapter. Uh, I usually use a spinner or my little, my little hand tool, but uh, yeah. Finally went out and, and got this. It, it, it was needed, so can't wait to use it and see how well it works. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? For the video starts, I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking it. And uh, if you haven't did that yet, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're thinking about getting into the carpet cleaning business, I do offer a step-by-step -step course down below in the description, as well as the tools I love and use. So now you know. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Showed up to the job. This is the new tool I was telling you about. Is that Hydroforce? Um, I believe it's Raptor. And if I'm wrong, hey, I'll correct it at the bottom of the, the video. But um, yeah, I liked it because it came with see a small attachment right there for edging. Um, I'm actually gonna try that out, but. One thing I do not like about this is small um, and everything, but if it's for edging, why does it have such a large space here? Because everybody knows who does town grout, along the walls you get the strip, right? That your wand can't get. So um, you gotta you, you gotta work at that to get the get that strip down. But why would why would they do that? So. And I brought the, um, I use carpet detail, usually, 99% of the time. I've used this a few times in the past. I'm going to give it another shot. People bra um, praise it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm going to give it one more shot on this tile. Being it's not a specialty natural stone or anything like that. Um, I like to keep it safe on that because I use carpet detail for the natural stone. Um, but... I'm going to try this stuff out today.
right guys so uh went ahead and cleaned it cleaned the floors it came out good you know um problem i had with the grout master is i was a little cautious about getting any overspray on anything right floorboards um cabinets or anything like that because it's a high ph and you you really never know yes I, it's pretty much the standard just kind of go around and wipe everything down but when you're using a ne neutral ph like carpet details what i usually use you don't have to worry about that it's not gonna it's not gonna strip any paint it's not gonna mess with anything it's good to go across it anyway um just with the way i used to wipe anything off you know um parents mostly because it's not gonna hurt it but if you leave a high ph on there for a long time it could peel stuff and i just i was just nervous about that the whole time um so uh, as far as cleaning power man listen guys carpet detail just does does just as well to me if not better because i was feeling like i would have got better results a lot quicker as i was going across it with the wand um you know i was i was having it to go across it over and over I, I i eventually switched over to the um spinner because the spinner um cleans better than that the uh, the tool that i've got the raptor um i suggest using the, the raptor only for small areas um kitchen just was just gonna be a kitchen this gel was just gonna be the kitchen but um she added on a bunch when i got here so it was gonna, it's gonna be a small area so i was like all right i'm gonna try it out and she decided to add a bunch more so um so yeah i mean it's a decent tool um basically i'm gonna keep it on the van to where say i'm in a uh doing a carpet cleaning job and a customer said hey can, how much will it cost to do this room all right well i'll have this on there and i can i can bust it out you know it may take a little bit uh longer to do than with the spinner but it takes up less room in my van although i'm gonna be working on that i want to get everything in my van um going down to lowe's today and pick up some stuff hopefully it works but but yeah uh it's a good tool to have all right um spinner works better i like carpet detail better sorry if i offend anybody out there Man, that's just unbiased opinion because it don't pay me. Carpet details don't pay me. You know what pays me? The customers. And if I do a good job, they call me back. So I'm going to use the best possible product. Okay, so let me just give you a little glimpse of... I got the fans down because I'm going to get ready to seal. Here. So yeah, it looks good. You know, it would have looked good with the carpet details too. I just feel that um, you gotta be too careful with this stuff, man. You know, carpet details you can use on um, travertine, um, all tiles, okay? It's not gonna hurt any natural stone or anything like that. You gotta be careful with the uh, IPH stuff, you know? I'm not an expert, not a chemist, guys. I'm just, uh, telling you from my experience cleaning um i'm gonna only get to use what i think works best and what is the safest if you watch my channel you know i'm all about that i'm gonna let you go i need to wrap everything up and um, get to sealing actually i might uh show you how i do sealing too so stay tuned
All right, guys, all finished up. Uh, took a two hours total. And the bill was for 410. She gave me a $40 tip, which is awesome. And uh, job well done. She loved it. Um, she's the second time she called me. She called me for carpets before. I did, uh, she liked the work I did, so she called me to do the, the tile. Um, her hard wood floors has a lot of wax on it. So I did do an estimate for her last time, but it was kind of way out of her range. But she's gonna uh, put that on the to do next list. So, all right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in the next one.